morning, guys. I got the TikTok. I got the YouTube. What's up, guys? How we doing, guys? Took the Rangers. We got the Rays. We got the Guardians. Guys, hit the chat. What's up? What's up, Chastity? What's up, Blake? What's up, Secret? How we doing, guys? We're moving and grooving, guys. Welcome in. This is Chris from Vegas, where I like to teach you guys numbers and patterns recognition from the odds makers opening line, guys. Guess what, guys? We're not new to this. We're true to this. And the harder we play, and the better better we play, the more they pay, guys. At the end of the day, we're not new to this. We're true to this. Thank you very much for uh, joining, liking, and subscribing. Please hit the like button, guys. Please give me some hearts. Welcome in, guys. Hit the hearts, guys. Chris from Vegas. Uh, we definitely need the D-backs tonight, plus one and a half, plus two and a half. We do not want the D-backs to lose by three tonight, guys. And we will do the what? Ding, ding. Sweet, guys. We'll sweep them. We had the Rangers, Rays, and Guardians already, guys. Three and oh. Three and oh in baseball, guys. Not new to this. I'm true to this, guys. Welcome in, guys. Thank you so much for being here. What's up, Sandy Sue? What's up, YouTube Sandy? How you doing? Welcome in. Thank you very much for being being here. What's up, Mama Duck? How you be doing, guys? Welcome in. Got the wrench. Hey, guys, I got YouTube. I got YouTube going. I got TikTok going. We're moving and grooving, guys. Hey, we're on fire, guys. How's it going, guys? How's it going, guys? Sorry if I'm too loud. How's the sound? How's everything going? Mama Duck, how's the sound? Is it too loud, too much? Do I need to speak up, speak down? What's up, Leslie? What's up, Tom Davis? What's up, Janelle? Hey, guys, Chris from Vegas, guys, where we strictly follow numbers and patterns recognitions. We're not influenced by uh, uh, injuries, NBA uh, analysts. I, I strictly follow the numbers and patterns recognitions from the odds makers opening lines, guys. When you make your bets, you got three different type of bets, guys. You got the money line, you got the spread, and you got the total, guys. You could bet either of those in any sport, mostly. Um, so, um, me, myself, for the last 13 years and over 13,000 hours, guys, I've been tracking nothing but numbers and patterns recognition of numbers that consistently hit on a regular basis, guys. At that point, I started to put them in a system and an algorithm that I currently have, and boom, we've been smashing every day, guys. We're 3-0 and right now, guys. We have the Rangers, the Rays, and the Guardians. We definitely would like the D-backs tonight to come through at plus one and a half and two and a half. Look right here, guys. Sorry, guys, on my YouTube. Truly appreciate you. Thank you very much for being here. On my TikTok, I have a green screen. I'm showing them what we hit. We've already hit the first three, guys. We're coming down at the bottom where it says plus one and a half, two and a half, and that is going to be the D-backs, guys. That is exactly what we want, and that is exactly what we're looking for. How's it going, guys? Welcome in. Chris from Vegas. We're moving and grooving, guys. Please hit the like and subscribe button. Welcome in. Give me some comments. What's up, guys? How's it going? TikTok, how's it going? Please, in the chat, where are you guys from? What are you doing? What sports do you like? What information would you like from a sports better, guys? What's up, guys? Chris from Vegas. How we doing? We're going to do a recap. We've got everything going. Wasn't a lot of games tonight. We do have the NBA coming through in the next couple of days. It's going to start up, actually, actually to be honest, it's going to start up tomorrow. Um, out of that uh, Denver Nuggets and that Lakers game, guys, from the numbers and patterns recognition, I can tell you I know who's going to win, guys. What's up, guys? Welcome in, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Like and subscribing. Please hit the like button, guys. Tap my face, guys. Give me those hearts. Welcome in, guys. And uh, we're going to see what we're going to do in the hockey games tonight. We got hockey on uh, April 18th. We took the Rangers today, the Rays, the Guardians. We do have the D-backs plus one and a half, so we're already 3-0, and guys. Um, in hockey tonight, I got four hockey games that I gave out, guys. You can either take the money line, the puck line, or the alternative line. We went ahead and took a couple of those. Um, we have uh, four games that are currently out right now. I gave a few different ways on how you could bet that. 
based off the numbers, zero influence off the money, the contrarian, the consensus. We're not worried about any of that, guys. We're going to stay true, and we're always going to come through, guys, with no high highs and no low lows. You're not going to influence anybody here, guys. Welcome in, guys. What's up, Kevin? Yeah, buddy. Hey, Kevin, I like that uh, video on TikTok. Excellent job. Man, you're a hard worker, man. Good for you, man. What's up, Mama Duck? What's up? What's up, guys? Join my Patreon. Welcome in, uh, Leslie Forever. Uh, what's up, user? Hey, guys. What's up, guys? We're going to come through tonight. We got the D-backs playing. Uh, this is Chris from Vegas. I truly appreciate my YouTube channel, my TikTok channel, guys. Without you guys, I'd be nothing. I need a community to keep growing. And uh, when we're growing, we're, uh, we're still a student. We're not a teacher, guys. We're getting in the known, and we are uh, always going to be a product of our own conclusion, guys. Uh, what's up, Lifetime Duck? What's up, baby Duck? Lifetime, how you doing, man? Thank you very much for being a supporter. Thank you for always coming through, man. Truly appreciate you, and you are the man. What's up, guys? What's up, TikTok? Hey, guys. So, currently, we do have some uh, NBA. So, you're going to have the NBA coming through, guys. You're going to have the finals coming through, the playoffs on my tier three. You're going to get all the games and plays. Right now, currently, we're running at 2-2, two and two, which is decent. It's 50%, 52%, depending on what you got. We have some good dogs in there. Uh, baseball, we're running an extremely high rate right now, guys. And what you want to do is you want to make sure you're on the right side, and not only by the right side on what they want you to be on, but behind the scenes, guys. Remember, it's always a game within a game, guys. And you want to make sure that you're doing the right thing. So do uh, to do that, you want to strictly bet with zero motion, zero uh, influence, right? You want to make sure you're there. So don't bet on your favorite team, your 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 favorite player. Don't worry about the injuries on who's in. Remember, that's all manipulation. That detects and directs on where the money should go on how Vegas makes their money, guys. Vegas pays the salary of all the sports, the athletes, everybody out there, guys. Welcome in, guys. Thank you. Hit the like button on TikTok, guys. Thank you so much. YouTube, you guys are awesome, guys. Welcome in, guys. I truly appreciate you. Thank you, Mama Duck. Always coming through. Lifetime Sandy Sue. What's up, Kevin? Welcome in, guys. We're keeping it simple, short, and sweet, guys. All we're going to do here is uh, what we want to do is we want to do a quick recap. We're three one zero losses right now in Major League Baseball. We do have the D-backs tonight, guys. We did take the D-backs, and if you're someone that wants to consistently win on a regular basis, you need to be on the right side. And if you're currently not on the right side and you find yourself losing here and there, guys, let me be your decoy. Let me be the person that leads you the right direction to water, guys. Let me be the the person that leads the horse to water, guys. I can't make you drink it, but I can take you there. What's up, guys? Welcome in, guys. Yeah, buddy. Chris from Vegas, guys, where we're consistently moving and grooving, guys. Thank you so much for everything that you're doing. Thank you for being here, guys. And that is what we want to do, guys. At the end of the day, we want to consistently get bigger and better, guys. And how are we going to do that, guys? How do we get bigger and better, guys? We got to consistently know the right situations on where we want to be, guys. By the numbers, guys. We don't bet by influences, by CBS, Fox News, Fox Sports, anything like that, guys. So tonight we're going to roll with the D-backs tonight, guys. D-backs plus one and a half, plus two and a half. They cannot lose by three tonight, guys. We want the D-backs to come through. We will hit them with the sweep. Four wins, zero losses. And that is exactly what, uh, a great situation on what we want to be on, guys. Also, uh, if you guys can find it in your heart, uh, check out my uh, Mama Duck's Edible Landscaping, guys. If you're into someone who's into to, uh, nutrition, growing your own thing, and you like different situations, check out Edible Landscaping on YouTube. It's an ex. Uh, uh, a great experience, and it teaches you and shows you different ways on growing your own foods. And you are what you eat, guys. Check out Edible Landscaping on YouTube. Also, check out Mama Duck on TikTok, guys, where occasionally me and Mama Duck in the chat, guys, on both sides. 
We do our own cooking situations. We hang out as a mother and a son, guys. Welcome in, guys. Thank you for being here, liking and subscribing. We're continually uh, trying to be the best that we can be, guys. Welcome in, guys. So we got a ton of plays and picks, guys. We are moving and grooving, guys. We are already 3-0 and today, guys. We got our hockey plays out. We are consistently on fire, guys. I can't tell you anything better than that. Please uh, subscribe on TikTok. Subscribe to my Patreon, guys. If you're a sports better and you're average, you're not sure what to do, you do not know how to bet, guys, let me be your go-to uh, go guy, guys. Um, there's three different ways you can bet, make a bet, spread, NBA, baseball, uh, hockey. You could do the alternative line, the puck line in hockey. You could do the money line, uh, soccer. You could do the money line, the draw, the spread, football, money line, spread, total, overs, unders, what numbers hits, 49, 49 and a half. Is it going to go over that, guys? Chris from Vegas takes all that away, guys. For uh, the last 13 years and over 13,000 hours, guys, I've studied nothing but the odds makers opening lines and everything, guys. Look at all these guys. First halves, overs, unders, totals. Look at all these guys. This is my notes, patterns, recognitions. This exactly tells you. This is like almost like the Bible, guys. This is college, NBA, look, NFL, first halves, over, total. Look at this, guys. I mean, I got 41 and a half. It goes over. 38 goes over. 40 goes under. 36 and a half. That's an over number. 42 goes under. 41, that number goes over. 40 and a half goes over. 41 goes over. 38 and a half. That total goes over, bro. 40 and a half. That's an over number. 39 and a half. Anytime you see a 39 and a half in football or in NFL or college, most of the time, that number does what? Goes over. How do you guys know a pattern, guys? Uh, numbers and patterns recognitions come from a statistics and an analytics way of not more than probability, but also what continually hits on a regular basis. So you need something to hit more than three times. Once something hits more than three times, just like in the military, the Navy, the Air Force, Anything in government situations, in most situations, they want you to know what a pattern is. Don't tell me who you are. Show me your pattern, and I'll tell you who you are. At the end of the day, when you find out what the pattern is, you're going to consistently hit on a regular basis, not more than once. A lot more than once, guys. At the end of the day, you have better odds of hitting with me than the California, Illinois, Arizona, any lottery in the world, guys. There's a lot more people in the world than there is than me. And if I'm giving you more statistics, guys, if you check out my Patreon, I hit a 25-teamer last year. That's the max you can hit, and, and I hit one, guys. Try to find it and look up and subscribe and try to find a 25-teamer that's ever been hit, guys. Chris from Vegas not only gives you accurate information, but I stay true, guys, with zero fluence and zero high highs. Guys, at the end of the day, if you want to do what you do and be better than ever, then you need to step up to the game and let me show you the way, guys. You're not going to learn it if you're not tracking and knowing that if something doesn't hit more than three times, it's not a good pattern, guys. At the end of the day, do what you do and you'll get what you get, guys. Man, look at this, guys. Money lines, totals, spreads, overs, unders, first halves, second halves, halftime spreads. You guys know what a halftime number is? In any sport, you can bet the game before the game starts. You can bet the whole game. You can bet the quarter of the game. You can bet the first half of the game, guys. But do you know what the game is when the game starts at uh, halftime? What's the game at halftime? It's a brand new number. There's a halftime score. No one's ever seen it. To me, I consider that being what? I consider that being a, uh, what guys, what? A virgin number, guys. I consider that being a virgin number. At the end of the day, when you get a virgin number, that is a number that has never been betted on, hasn't been out yet in the public, and is just transparent to the overall number of the spread of the regular game that it's on. So, 
it's not going to have too much influence on the total of what the game's going to be overall because there's more money on who's going to win before the game starts compared to the halftime bet when they give you about 15 to 20 minutes to make your bet. So you want to make sure you're on the right side. How to make sure you're uh, you're on the right side? you got to consistently track the spread, the money line, the total, overs, unders, how it's going to be and how it's going to go. Me, Chris from Vegas, I do all that for you and finally came out after 13 years and over 13,000 hours, guys, and boom, laid it on the line, guys. We're not new to this. We're true to this, guys. I truly appreciate everybody here. Thank you very much. We got YouTube going. We got TikTok going, guys. Thank you very much for the tips. Guys, making plays at patreon.com, guys. In the search creators box, type making plays, guys. That's me, guys. And you will sign up today off topic, but I got to ask Chris, did you get that shirt from the Sky Canyon? Yeah, buddy. What's up, Lifetime Heart? Of course I did, baby. It was on sale. You guys like the shirt? You guys like the shirt? It was on sale from 24 bucks to guess how much, guys? Guess how much, guys? $8, guys. <laughs> What's up, Sandy Sue? Mama Duck, San Sandra, Aunt Karen's daughter says, what up? What's up, Sandy Sue? Come to Vegas soon, man. I love to have you guys. What's up, guys? Welcome in. This is the Saw, guys. The Saw. You like the Saw guy? This is me, Chris from Vegas. I'm the Duck, guys. Patreon, making plays, guys. We consistently win on a regular basis. Truly appreciate you all for being here. Thank you very much for liking and subscribing, guys. Welcome in. Uh, please hit the like and subscribe. Please share with all your friends and family. We're going to talk sports picks and plays, guys. Keeping it simple and easy. We do have the D-backs tonight, guys. We took the D-backs tonight plus one and a half. We did take the D-backs plus uh, two and a half, guys. We are currently on three wins and zero losses, guys. Yeah, buddy. That's my son. Always shops those sales. Guys, eight bucks instead of 24. You guys like the saw? You like the saw pick, guys? Moving and grooving, guys. When it out, you're not sure what to do. Always remember, guys, pull that trigger, guys. At the end of the day, I'm going to consistently give you sports topics, picks, and plays, not based off of information from ESPN, CBS, or or Fox Sports, Pat, uh, Pat McAfee. I'm going to give you information and great uh, statistics on a ROI, guys, which is cons considered a return on investment. So to get that, you need to get something that's going to pay you anywhere between two to one on your money. To continue to get two to one on your money, you're going to be on, to be on the right side. To get on the right side, guys, you got to see something more than a pattern. A pattern that hits more than three times in a row and that you consistently know on a regular basis, guys. At the end of the day, you always want to make sure you're on the right side. So to be on the right side, you got to make sure it hits what? More than three times, or you're going to hurt yourself or someone else. You never want to bet a team that you like, you love, and you need, right? At the end of the day, you want to bet a team that's going to put what? On the right side, guys. On the right side is two to one on your money, something that's going to pay you a little bit of money. If you're putting in 10 bucks and you can win 30, that's all you need. You can't go broke with a little bit of profit every day. And uh, hey, guys, at the end of the day, I'm not trying to sell you. I just want to tell you go to patreon.com in the search creators box. You're going to type in making plays. That's M A K N P L A Y Z. Also, if you go to my YouTube channel, I got over 900 channel, uh, videos, guys, 900 videos where you're going to actually see someone who is not a rookie, who's someone who's not new to this, who's someone who does every sport, who's someone who actually wants to put you in a situation where you consistently win on a regular basis. I don't want to talk your head off. I don't want to be the person who's trying to sell you. I want to be the person who's trying to tell you. If you're not in, you're out. Guys, at the end of the day, we're not new to this. We're true to this. And the better we play, the more they pay. So you consistently want to be on the right side. The only way you're going to do that, guys, is by knowing the patterns yourself after putting in time and work. Do you want a new guy telling you guys this? You at least want someone in the... Hey, let me tell you this, guys. 
I'm constantly seeing people on TikTok and YouTube saying, hey, I know sports. I know who to bet on. I know what to do, guys. Guys, do you want someone who's new or someone who's experienced? At the end of the day, do you want someone who's experienced in building houses? Or do you want the new guy who just came out of school to build your house? Or do you want the 20-year home builder, general contractor, who's been smashing and building nothing but the biggest and baddest houses out there? Why wouldn't you go to him? He might cost a little more. He might give you quality instead of quantity. But he's going to put you in the position to succeed. And not only that, you might have one of the baddest houses out there compared to the guy who just started. Try to get him done. I'm still learning. Uh, I got an egomaniac. Don't tell me what to do. I just learned everything in school. I'm the, bag of, the baddest and the biggest. I'm going to tell you guys on this. In the sports betting game, you got to have someone who has experience. That's just what it is. You're not going to have a new guy come in and get, uh, in their 20s and they're going to tell you how the sports betting world is going to work because you can't. How are you going to tell me after one or three years of being in the sports betting world after someone who's been in 13 years that knows the game? There is no way you could catch on. They're too good. They're too good. It's a Broadway show. It's so good it looks real. Guys, at the end of the day, what's up, Rick? Thank you so much for being here. Rick, guys, Rick's a huge support, uh, supporter. He always comes through. And thank you for supporting everybody. Thank you for uh, supporting Zach. Always on the channel. Rick's a good dude. Thank you, Rick. Welcome in, man. Truly appreciate you. You always come through with the positive vibes and positive results. And if you don't know who Rick is, Rick's always, stay, uh, always saying, stay up and stay sharp. And at the end of the day, it's great information, guys. You always want to be bigger and better than you ever been. So if you're going to get bigger and better than you ever been, you got to put in the work. And if you put in the work, the harder you work, the luckier you're going to get. If you're in a sports betting world, which is extre uh, extremely competitive, there's a lot of people out there, and there's a lot of young people out there that are telling you how to go, where to bet, what to do, and they're showing these tickets with all these money and how everything is. Guys, I'm going to tell you right now, it's a facade. It's not what you see, guys. At the end of the day, it's not what you know. It's how you get to where you're going to get to the outcome of, on how you grow. you got to have a pattern. It's a game within the game, guys. Sports are rigged. They're fixed. They're not, they're not what you think they are, guys. You need to be on the right side. At the end of the day, if the sports in Vegas is that everybody's telling you how much money's on one side, how much money's on the over, under, the total, the spread, the money line, 60%, 30%. You can see all that stuff for free. It's a facade. It doesn't matter. You want to make sure that what? You stay on the right side by finding your own pattern that knows it stays true from your hard work. You definitely can't outgrow me and outknow me, guys. At the end of the day, I know what numbers hit and don't hit from 0 to 50. Why? Because all those numbers from 0 to 50 can be from what? You could see in college football where Alabama, who's playing what? Alcorn State. Alabama versus Alcorn, you can see a spread there at minus 49 and a half. For sure, Alcorn State versus Alabama, you're going to see a spread at minus 49 and a half. You better know who's going to win, and you better know what number's going to cover. And if you're going to play that game again, you better be on the right side, guys. Please, guys, hit the tap button. Please hit the like, subscribe. This is Chris from Vegas, guys. I'm giving you those uh, gems and picks that no one's going to give you unless you got the hard work and the time. And if you don't do the time, you won't get the what? The prize at the end, guys. Guys, sign up today. Win today. Chris from Vegas with three wins, zero losses. I gave out the NHL picks, and we're definitely going to roll with what tonight, guys? The D-backs. D-backs plus one and a half plus two and a half. Where not only are we going to stay consistent, but we're going to win. 
We're not in this for a dress rehearsal. We're not in this to go to work every day for eight to 10 hours a day and get rid of our hard earned money, guys. The people that do the stock market and do what they do, that's their niche. I treat this exactly like the stock market. Every team, every player, and every game has a value. You better know what side of the money is going to be on. There's always going to be a team that's better than the other team. And how are you going to know what team's better? You can't just tell me because LeBron is on the Lakers and Jason Tatum is on the Celtics that the Celtics are better than the Lakers or the Lakers are better than the Celtics. You have to give me one information that lets me know at the end of the day who's better. How do you guys know who's better? Come on, come on, come on. How do we know every day before we make our bet? How do we know who's better? I'll wait. You got to have a value. At the end of the day, there needs to be a value. You need to tell me why. And why is it? Well, the Lakers are playing the what? They're playing the Celtics. Well, the Celtics are minus 400, and the Lakers are plus 300. At that point, now I have a value. Now you're giving me incentive, right? Now I can dictate on which way I want to go. At the end of the day, you better make sure you're on the right side. Don't give your hard-earned money away. Don't bet in your heart. Don't bet on your friends and your this and that. Don't look at the alternative spread. Don't look at against the spread scenarios. Don't look at how many wins and losses they had. You're going to lose your money, guys. That's free information. Let me tell you like this, guys. Being here in Vegas for the last 13 years and over uh, for, uh, over 13 years, guys, um, I can tell you this, guys. They give you the information. You want to know out of every game, every NHL. MLB, M NBA, uh, UFC, uh, soccer, uh, it doesn't matter. Vegas is going to give you every sport. If you're someone who needs that information, guess what? They used to cost a dollar. They used to give, They used to say, hey, you give me a dollar, and at every sport, every game, I'll give you the sheet that tells you who's going to win against the spread, how many times the probability is, all that stuff. It used to be a dollar. Their wins, their losses, different sports, who wins in the conference, who doesn't win. Now guess what, guys? Vegas, any casino you go to, guess what, guys? I'm not joking. It's free. You walk right up to the counter. You can grab your parlay card. Shh, don't say nothing. You could grab the sheet that's going to tell you who's already won. Well, they're fucking 15 and 1 against the spread. The Lakers are 51 and 6 against the spread for the last 18 games. Whatever information you want, it's all there for you. It's free. They want you to look at it. Look at that information. In the meantime, while you got the mass majority people looking at that, look what Chris from Vegas is looking at. None of that shit. I don't care about that. Look at what I'm looking at. I don't look at any of that. I got my blinders on. Uh, Kentucky Derby, Rich Strike, the biggest course in history that won 80 to 1. 50 bucks pays you over four grand. Don't say not. Chris from Vegas hit it. 50 bucks, four grand. Rich Strike. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go to YouTube. Type in Rich Strike. The baddest horse in history that came from uh, the last position and won it in the last 15 seconds, guys. That's me. Look. Look at this date. Look at this date, guys. I can't make this up. Look at that date. 10 29 2013. 10 29 2013. Hard work pays off. I'm not new to this. I'm true to this, guys. It is now currently the year. 2024 guys are you kidding me it's hard work put in my time look at these guys stay up it's a beautiful day here in vegas rick i know you're in vegas what side of town you live on rick rick where do you live man rick what's up you gave me good information on the uh where to get my car fixed <laughs> Rick, look at all this stuff from back in the day, man. From 2010 is when I started. 
When I moved to Vegas, guys, a little bit about myself, Chris from Vegas. I'm not actually from Vegas. I'm actually from Arizona, Bullhead City. And then I lived in Phoenix, Arizona. I was always uh, into sports, played college basketball. I be- Wow, Rick, you're a baller, big doggy. Uh, Esperanza, huh? Sp- oh, Spanish Trails. You're up by, uh, wow, big doggy. Summerlin area, Spanish Trail. I'm up in Kyle Canyon. I'm on, uh, I'm in uh, Centennial Hill, Sky Canyon. I'm I'm one block away from Kyle Canyon. I'm looking to try to get a house on Kyle Canyon on the way to Mount Charleston. But you know how the prices are and how things are going. It's not easy right now. So I got a five-year plan, Rick. You're hearing it first. I want to buy the house going up to Mount Charleston, those new... Uh, Tam, uh, there's the new KB homes on the way uh, on Kyle Canyon. And then I believe behind it, uh, Tlaib homes or township homes, you know, but uh, it's hard. I love Bullhead City. I go to the Colorado River all the time. What's up, Chris? What's up, Mike? Mike, what's up, guys? So I am from Bullhead City. I was born and raised in Bullhead City. Um, I was born in Kingman. I lived in Bullhead City my whole life. Um, I, I went to school at River Valley High School. Uh, was a huge sports athlete, played college basketball, was in the police academy, was going to go to the police thing, started to go to college basketball in California. It is said, I don't know, you'll do it. It, it is said, I don't know, you'll do it. <laughs> right, Rick? That's that's my goal, man. I currently live by, like Lifetime Heart says, the new Smiths in Sky Canyon. That's where I got this shirt, guys. Like he said, eight bucks. It was on sale from 24 to 8. I took it. It was going to be this or a Tetris shirt. I ended up taking this. And then my son says, Dad, can I wear your shirt to school tomorrow? So anyways, guys, what's up, Rick? I'll do it. I'll do it. The harder we work, the luckier we get, guys. And when you're transparent, you're trying to be real, and you're not trying to hurt people, and you're just trying to give good information, you'll come through the right way, guys. That is a dope shirt. Thank you so much, Desert Dave, my main man. Nah, you're from Fort my boy. I am from Fort Mojave. So in Bullhead City, there is Fort Mojave. He is right. My Uncle Dave is right. He is a moderator. In Bullhead City, I was just saying it because most people know Arizona, Phoenix, and then wherever, Tucson, and then Bullhead City. They don't know too much about the fort. I am from Fort Mojave, Arizona. It's a little teeny, teeny, teeny dude. Baby duck, guys. And and, uh, I am from Fort Mojave, Arizona, guys. Right there in the middle of Mojave Valley. And uh, that's where I'm from, guys. And I moved to Phoenix and then moved to Vegas, guys. Welcome in, guys. Chris from Vegas talking sports picks. We do want the Diamondbacks to come through tonight that can finish our sweep in MLB. If the Diamondbacks come through tonight, it would be extremely uh, uh, a a great night. We could finish off just exactly where we want to leave off and start off smooth and end the day with a groove, guys. I'm not trying to sell you. I'm just trying to tell you guys. Chris from Vegas is going to give you the most accurate information that you can ever have. And if you're someone who's a sports better and someone who does every sport and you don't have any knowledge or information behind the scenes, then let me give you 30 days. 30 days, try me out, see what you think. After 30 days, for less than $2.40 a day, less than $2.40 a day, tier 3 or lower, if you try it for $2.40 a day, I promise you, I'm not trying to sell you, I'm just telling you. You're going to win more than you lose, guys. You keep it simple, you play conservative, and you play smart. Where you're not getting any information in any games based on influence, guys. Two weeks in, and I'm happy. What's up, man? Two weeks in, I'm happy. Are you a, uh, what's up, user? He's not lying, y'all. Desert Dave, guys, check out Desert Dave's page on TikTok. On his YouTube channel, Desert Dave is a huge supporter. He always comes through. And not only that, he's a man of character, guys. Uh, User, you're on my Patreon. 
So I have someone in the chat on my TikTok. Hey, I'm very new to this. This is the only the fourth time I've ever went on live on my TikTok. I currently go live on my uh, YouTube. Um, so, hey, Rick, by the way, you're a baller, bro. Spanish trails. One day I'll be like you, bud. So one of my guys from my YouTube channel says, yes, sir, I saw you on TikTok. User, what's your name, user, on my uh, YouTube channel? That's how I jumped on the train. Hey, man, all I can say this. It's extremely nice of you to uh, come in here. You don't have to be here. Um, user, i like to know your name. i also like to know that you're a subscriber on my Patreon, what your name is on there. Because to be honest with you, it's extremely generous of you to come on here, show love, because I'm not selling you and I'm not telling you, and I'm not asking you to come on here, but to actually be transparent and be honest and at least let people know that, hey, guys, um, he's not perfect. He's not flawless. I joined his Patreon, but at the end of the day, he does win more than he loses. Guys, remember, a normal sports better at the end of the day, it's 50-50. So if anybody's going to sports bet, no matter what, you're supposed to lose. There's no 100% in sports betting. Remember, when one team plays another, it's always at the beginning of the game before any influential. Right. Before I tell you, guys, listen here. I got I to gotta break it down, guys. I can't, I, can't, I can't go on without breaking it down. And then just telling you how much of a genius I am. And I'm not trying to tell you of a genius and I'm not an egomaniac, but I do have knowledge. I am neurodivergent. My brain goes four times faster than the average brain. I do have ADHD and I catch on things that the average person doesn't catch on. And I'm not trying to sell you. I'm going to tell you. And you don't have to join in. You're either in or you're out. And every day that you're sitting back and you're watching, you're going to consistently see me put stuff out there, guys. And how are you going to get it? By knowing the right side on where you're going to go. So what are you going to do? You've got to track it. And for someone like that who's on my Patreon, who I didn't even I, I don't even know who's on there and said, hey, man, I'm on his Patreon. I saw him on TikTok. I jumped in. He's right. He does win. He does come through. It's kind of humbling to let me know, hey, keep doing what you're doing. You're going to get better and bigger than you've ever been. The harder you work, the luckier you're going to get. Don't have an ego. Keep it simple. You're not bigger than better than anybody yet, but one day you'll get there, and that's what we're trying to be, guys. I am not trying to sell you. It is – what's up? What's up, YouTube? What's up, Mike? Mike, Lifetime Heart, thank you so much, man. Those houses are amazing. I love Bullhead City. Yeah, my brother still lives uh, – my brother still lives out there, and uh, at the end of the day, uh, what is it? OFC, I love to be here, man. My name is Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Sorry, I said Jesus. Jesus, yeah, are you uh, Jesus – um, last name starts with an N because I think I've been answering some of your questions. Uh, you've been coming out and uh, you've been extremely humble, man. I truly appreciate you jumping in. I could tell that you're a novice better, which would, which would be considered a beginner. I truly appreciate the comments. I do not want to uh, come on to you with you making me think that I have an ego or that I do not answer your questions in the right way. Um, I truly appreciate you, and it's an honor to have you. And uh, you are new to the game. And at the end of the day, I've been doing this for 13 years, over 13,000 hours. Uh, there's no such thing as a lock game. I can never give you a lock. I'll never be able to tell you 100% that this game is going to win 100% to wager your house. You're not going to find that. Why? I've got time in the game. Over 13, almost 14 years. There's no such thing as a lock. You have a probability, just like in Keno and in Bingo, just like in the lottery, numbers that consistently hit on a regular basis, guys. When you have NHL, MLB, NBA, tennis, uh, NASCAR, UFC, boxing, um, cricket, um, horse racing, uh, South Korean baseball, 
you're going to have on a given day, and I'm not joking, guys, YouTube, TikTok, this is no joke. You're going to have more than three to 400 games a day in any, in, 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 in any different sport. Vegas, offshore, it does not matter. There is a lot of games. And there's value on some of those games. And some of those games, out of all those games, are going to be on the same. So, if you're not on the same, which you'll get information on my Patreon, you're going to consistently lose. And a lot of people, you guys, you're looking at someone who lost for about five years straight. I moved to Vegas, guys. You want to hear the story? Keep it simple and sweet. I understand. That's the real life, you know. But, man, you've been on a roll. It's really nice of you to say that, Jesus. I truly appreciate you. You helped me out a lot. Man, that's nice of you. I, I am new to betting. Man, you're definitely the facts. Jesus, thank you so much, man. I understand that that is real life. At the end of the day, you have a 50-50. So you have the Lakers playing the Celtics. Before anybody you tell me who's going to win, it's a 50% chance. Now, if I tell you the players are all on the team, so you have the Celtic team versus the Lakers team, 50-50, right? But if I start to tell you names that are in each team, now what do we have? We now have one team that's better than the other. So, let's go with this. Celtics, Tatum, Brown. Do I need to break it down? Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown. Woo! Fire. LeBron James, AD, Lakers. Tatum, Brown, Celtics. Two teams. Not only are they two teams, now I gave you four players, two on one team, two on another. Not only that I did do that, I just now, and now I'm going to give you a value. I'm going to say that the Celtics are going to beat the Lakers minus 400, and I'm going to give the Lakers plus 300. Now, if you do not want to take the money line and you want to take the spread, I'm going to say it's minus 8 or plus 8. Now, at that line, I'm going to give it to you at minus 110, which is how most spreads are, unless they're talking to you with a minus 105, a minus 125 with a plus 105, a minus 135 with a plus 115. You better know what side you're going to be on, guys. I'm happy to have you there. It's nice to have you, man. Check out, uh, hey, hey, Jesus, check out Desert Dave's page. Please like and subscribe. Check out my Mama Ducks page. Uh, like and subscribe. Please follow, guys. Desert Dave's a huge follower. Uh, what's up, guys? Rick, Alphamingo, Chris, we feeling about those Blackhawks? I think they can be sneaky. Alphamingo, YouTube, what's up, baby duck? And I think you're exactly right, baby. They can be sneaky tonight. I thought they could be sneaky last night. They played the Golden Knights. They lost 3-1 to one or whatever it was. They can be sneaky tonight. And if you saw on my Patreon, I left it alone. We're already three wins and zero losses at MLB. I'm probably going to sweep in the hockey today. I might go 10 wins and zero losses. Guys, if you're in the end, you're in the end. And I don't want to sell you. I just want to tell you for less than $2.40 a day, guys, you can sign up on my Patreon. You consistently win on a regular basis. I promise you. Try it out for 30 days. It's not an obligation, and it's not a contract. But if you're someone who bets teams, players, and coaches, yuck. Are you kidding me? If you're someone who bets analytics, Fox Sports, and CBS, yuck. If you're someone who sits around every day that can't wait for you to know who to bet by Dave Portnoy, Pat McAfee, Stephen A. Smith, if you're one of those people, yuck. Charles Barkley telling you who's going to win. My favorite player, but you're going to listen to him who's going to win. Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. If you guys are those type of people that are sitting back and relaxing, and then you go to work for 8 to 10 hours of your day, 
And when you come home, you crack open that beer, or you're cooking that steak, and you're sitting back thinking, I'm going to let these guys tell me on who to bet. You don't think they're influenced on who to tell you who to bet? Are you kidding me? Guys, at the end of the day, they're reading from a teleprompter. This all stuff comes up within zero seconds of them reading of the day, and they get a script. It is a game within a game, guys. It is a Broadway show. And, and if you don't know that, you're on the wrong side. You are not going to be where I'm at today, guys. Give me a second. Let me show you. Shaquille Bill better. Kenny the Jet Smith better. Guys, what kind of better are you guys? Are you guys a 10K? Are you guys a 10K better? What do you guys want? Guys, at the end of the day, if you're not making stacks, 10 over 15, 10, there's 10 here. We'll go grab another one or another one. 30, 40, 50. Guys, at the end of the day, it's numbers and patterns recognition. You got to follow the odds makers opening lines from the odds makers, guys, who are telling you who's going to win the game. They got the script written out at 12 a.m. every night before the games come out. You're going to have a line. And before the line comes out, that's what's called a what? Opening line. Guys, it's an opening line. By the time most people go bet that game, what is it called? It's called a current line. If you're going to go bet the current line and you're naive and you don't know what the opening line is, you're an idiot. I don't even want to know who you are and you've been losing your whole life because you don't have stacks. You don't have stacks. And at the end of the day, it's not about ego. It's not about trying to sell you. It's just trying about telling you. And at the end of the day, guys, like and subscribe and get accurate information that's going to put you in a situation where you're going to succeed. And uh, and then you'll get to where you want to be. Because if you don't do what you're going to do, and you're always betting on how you're betting, you're going to lose. Don't go off the value they're telling you. Go off the value you know. It's just like the stock market. There's always a number, minus 40, minus 420, plus 110, plus 105, plus 115, minus 135, minus 130, plus 110. If you're someone who's consistent and strong, then you know that a minus 110 goes with the 110. And when you see a minus 105 with a 115, now they're what? Now they're talking to you, just like the hydroglyphics. When you get a minus 115 and a minus 105, it is now going to go up to what? A plus 100, which is now considered even money with a minus 120. That what can be considered the favorite with the spread that is what? Minus 1 or plus 1. And if it goes to plus 1.5 and, and minus 1.5, what's the money line on that? Is it plus 105 and minus 125? Goes to plus two to minus two, plus 10, minus 130, plus two and a half to minus two and a half, plus 115 to minus 135. Now we're going to get a plus three at a minus three, at a plus 125, but a minus 145. But then when you go to that 30 and a half, you're a plus 150 with the minus 150 or the plus 130 with the minus 150. Which way do you go? How do you know? You better try it. You better be in the know. And if you're someone who doesn't know that and you're betting the other way, I don't care who's playing, who the coach is, how much time's left in the game, who's in the know, who's there, who wants to be there. At the end of the day, I'm going to bet it off of a number that consistently hit. So let me tell you this. Let's just say hypothetical. Hypothetical. Let's just talk simple and easy and break it down. Let me try to break this down to you. So, Rangers. If we had the Rangers today to win the game, and let's just say we did. We're three wins and zero losses in baseball. And if the D-backs come through tonight, we'll be four wins and zero losses. Where 10 bucks can pay you 1000 Simple and easy. We're not greedy, but we are needy. So, at the end of the day, when you know how it's going to go and how it's going to lead, then you always know that you're in the know. Chris from Vegas is going to give you the information and always going to be there for you guys. I got good bit to learn to steal, but I know I'm here to grow. 
Thank you very much, man. Truly appreciate you guys. Thank you very much for being here. Uh, I thank you guys very much, man. It's nice to have you on those Winnipeg Jets right now. They might get it done. Yeah, I got them on. Uh, I I thought the con um, the other side plus one and a half plus two and a half was good. Or if you went with them like a, like plus one and a half all the way up to plus three, you're probably going to cover. It was a crazy game on that one. Um, we'll see how it goes, but you're right on that, Alpha Omega. Thank you guys so much for being here. Like, subscribe. Thank you for the hearts, guys. Trying to hit that daily goal, man. If you can hit the gift, guys, welcome in. Thank you so much for being here, man. It's truly appreciating, and uh, we're trying to get bigger and better than we ever been, guys. Uh, we don't bet on what people tell us. We only bet on what? What we know. So when you're consistently seeing things that are consistently hitting on a regular basis and more than three times, that's consistently called a pattern, and that's what we do here. We are 80 to 100% on a daily basis. Today, we're probably going to be 100% in baseball. If you guys are out here and you're watching me, uh, the D-backs game is going to be starting already started we do not want the d-backs to lose by three tonight we took them plus one and a half plus two and a half so if they lose by two we are in the gold guys four wins zero losses where you can't go broke with a little bit of profit every day and you just try to continually to stack on a regular basis two to one on your money and you can get the cash out and get an ROI where I treat sports betting just like the stock market and I'm always there for you and I'm always in your best interest. When in doubt, you're not sure what to do. Always remember, pull that trigger guys. Chris from Vegas.